Hi guys, it's Natasha. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm so sorry I haven't filmed. I haven't filmed in like over like a month. Was it being Christmas? It's just been so busy. I've had a lot of family time so it's been really nice. Um, so I hope everybody's had a amazing Christmas and New Year's and got lots of good presents. I certainly did. Um, so yeah, today I'll be filming a, it's kind of like a natural makeup look but here in, well all around New Zealand, it's been stinking hot the last month. Um, we've been getting like temperatures of like 30, 32 degrees. I know up in Nelson was like 36 got, like a week ago. So it's been stinking hot. It's pretty hot today. Um, so I'm going to do like a makeup tutorial. How I wear my makeup when it's really hot. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like it. Um, so I'm going to start off with primer. I'm not, I don't do really any eyeshadow when it's really hot. I just find like it, it's too uncomfortable. You want to be comfortable in the heat. Um, when it's too hot, I generally don't wear makeup. But if it's like 29, 30, I still wear makeup. Um, so I'm going to prime. Um, I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready Prime and Anti Shine. It looks like that. And you open it up. Oh, fell out. That's okay. So the primer looks like that, if you can see it. Um, I just take my finger, kind of take a good lump, and just, it's a really nice primer. Makes your skin feel like, I don't know, butter. Wrap that all in. What's everybody got planned for 2019? Me and my sister have just booked a holiday to England. We're going in September. Um, we leave September the 15th. We're going to England for two weeks. Um, we're going to stay in Essex. And then we're going to Scotland, to Edinburgh for, um, for three nights. Back to London. Stay in London for another three nights. And then off to Amsterdam where we stay for 10 nights and then back home. So I cannot wait. So looking forward to it. I really like googling like everything like the shops and stuff. I know they have really good like makeup shops in England like Boots and Superdrug and Selfridges and all that so I'm gonna do a haul. Okay primer is on. I because it is summer I'm a little bit more tan so normally I will wear the Revlon Color Stay Normal Dry in 110. I got it for Christmas so I got a new one. Um, but because it, I am a bit more tanned, I go in with the another Revlon, Revlon Nearly Naked 120 Vanilla, looks like that. I mainly go in with the 120, but because I just pour it on my little hair there, but because it's a tiny bit too dark, um, I've got to go in with the 110. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm trying to open it. So I just squirt a little bit of the 110 in there. And then if I if I see it's too dark on my face, I'll just put a little bit more 110. Just put it around. So I do still queer, queer, wear quite a lot of foundation on hot days. I just like that coverage. Okay. Concealer. I'm so unorganised today. Okay. I've got a new concealer. I went on a little before Christmas, just a little one. Um, it is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I know a lot of people have tried this and I love it. It's like, I wouldn't say it's too dark. This is the lightest, oh, the lightest shade they have. I don't like how you've got to use it because it's just... Sounds weird, doesn't it? So just put a little bit on. So it does look a bit too dark but it actually works really well. like really sweaty so it's hard to like rip things. Okay, pat that in. Okay, looks pretty good. Now I'm going to set that with just the same old Revlon photo ready, the translucent one. I'm just going to get my little e.l.f. brush. I love this brush, I've had it for ages. And that's just going to set my under eyes. Make sure to set um, your eyelids if you're not, especially if you're not wearing any eyeshadow because you will get, if you can see it, that creepy line. If you get that, just take your finger 
Here's a pizza lemon squeezy, and then just set it and you won't get it. And it rhymes. So this is a bit, makes me look a bit pale, but I like looking pale. No, I don't. I do have a darker powder, um, but I can't bother getting it, so. But once I put bronzer on, I'll look. <gasps> look fine. Now I'm going to do my bronzer. I might do my brows, but I'm going to do bronzer. <clears throat> I'm not getting a cold. I, I am using just a normal, my normal Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Light Medium. You can see that. It smells like good. Load it up. Just load the brush up. Tap off the excess. Find the top of your ear. Take two angles. Find just below that hollow and then just. Oh, wrong way. Do the other side. Can you imagine if you just went out with one side? Oh, Sorry if my hair looks disgusting. It's just so hot and it's gone all like matty and yuck. I can't wait till we get to England. I've got so much fan over there that I've never even met. Did my forehead. It's just going to be so much fun. I can't wait to go around like the little villages. So we're staying, me and Victoria, my sister, have rented an apartment in Stansted, Stansted Abbots, um, which is, I think it's still in Essex. It's just out of Harlow, which is in Essex. Um, so Essex is where my dad was born and grew up and all that, so, and where all my family is. Um... So yeah, we're staying there in an apartment for two weeks. So I'm just going to take the big, this is a Artiste brush. It just says bronzer on it. And it's just going to blend. I don't care if I look funny. <sighs> That's so hot. Okay, now I'm going to do my eyebrows. Um, I'm running out of eyebrow products. Like all three of my pen, my pencils, whatever. What's left? Oh, I can't find any. This one, the Too Faced one, is $35. I'm not spending that again. Um, it is a really good one. I love it. But I found like a dupe. Um, it's, I don't have it on me, but it's the one I've used before. It's the Makeup Revolution brow pencil. And it's just, it doesn't smell like chocolate, but still. So I've run out of that one, so I have to go back to this one. That's all I've got left. So, I might skip my brows. Just because I do them the same. Um, looking okay? Okay. Highlighter. I don't generally wear a lot of highlighter when it's too hot. Or this is more like of a natural look. Um, like I said, it is a bit different to my natural look I've posted before. Um, it's just a bit more full coverage. But, it's similar. I have the highlighter, I'm taking my Chi Chi Iridescent Glow. It looks like that. You can see it. If I don't ever put, like, show you palettes and all that, um, like, on camera, it's because I can't hold them up very well. I struggle to do that. But I'll try. I'll try my hardest. Okay, I'm taking rose quartz and I pull my two. You can tell I use them a lot because... Um, I read the bottom. Okay, nearly all done. Um, mascara. I'm taking a new mascara. It is the Maybelline, the Falsies, I think is what it says. Push Up Drama. Looks like that. It stinks, but it's good. Just gonna brush the excess. I think I hope you can see that. It's kind of nice. I don't put too much mascara on on really hot days. Okay, it's pretty good. Now I'm just going to take my translucent powder because I don't normally do this, but because it is really hot and I'm really sweaty, I can open it. I can't open it. I have a 
of those days where I just struggle with the video. Um, but yeah, on hot days I do go over um, when I finish my entire face with a translucent powder because I'm just so sweet. Especially my chin. I find on really hot days I will have to come back and set my chin because I get that's where I get really sweaty and it just tends to break up. So just really lightly go over everything and I find that really helps. Don't take too much on your forehead. Um, I do a little bit on my brows. That's just preference. So yeah. So I tend to come back maybe once or twice throughout the day and just set it. Set my chin especially. Okay, have we done everything? Lips. I generally, I do wear lipstick on hot days, but I generally, um, I don't actually. So, I'm gonna go all natural today, so I'm not gonna wear anything. Um, I have, how do I get mascara on my shoulder? I can't even reach. So one thing about being an amputee, like, if you've got an itch, like, on the wrong side, so, if i got an itch on the left side, it's like, Mom, or Dad, um, or, like, you find, like, a good, um, not a pole, but, like, a wall, like, the corner of the wall, and, like, oh, scratch your face. But, it's not all bad being an amputee. I mean, it's not bad at all. It's just different you know it is a bit hard and you just got to adapt to things but you can do it it's easy peasy and I mean even people with all their limbs you know when they find when they have to do a new thing like a new task or a new activity they do it differently as well and they might take time to see what works for them you know everybody does it everybody does it um so yeah for amputees we just have to maybe take a little bit longer but that doesn't mean we can't do it um we're pretty cool people okay um i've got a new setting spray i got this three weeks ago and i'm really running out because i wear this all the time like i'll put it on before bedtime um it is the milani make it dewy dewy or dewy what do you say i say dewy 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 i say dewy milani make it dewy setting spray it's 16 hour wear Hydrate, illuminate, set, or fix. It says 04 make it dewy. It looks like that. That's so cool. I really want to try their, I think it's the make it dewy primer. I don't think it's make it dewy, but it's their primer. Um, so I'm just going to drench. No. So, oh, so, nice. so I think the key to wearing makeup when it's really hot is just setting it. You know, setting it with... Um, Setting spray, powder, that's what I do. Um, not wearing a lot of makeup. Well, you can if you want to, but you want to be comfortable, like I said. And so, yeah, this is my what I wear on really hot days like today because it's stinking. It's really hot in here. When I film, I can't have any fans on, I can't have the door open, and I can't have any windows open because the sound would just be too much. Like, you'd just be able to. I drop something. You'd just be able to hear it and it'd just be too annoying. What is that you hold? It's the power of the thingy for the thingy. Um, so yeah, I've rambled along this video. But I don't care. Okay, so that is my makeup look for today. I hope you guys like it and stay tuned and see what comes for next time. Bye guys.